Good morning, January 1st, 2021, and in true Illinois fashion, we have, I'll show you guys, interesting weather. Uh, my mom lives about two and a half to three hours north, and she has about an inch of ice already, and she's getting another bunches of snow later today. My older brother lives in the St. Louis area, and he has a little bit of rain and ice, and here in Decatur, I want to show you guys we have a couple freezing uh, rain warnings so we're going to be spending most of the day inside today however Sophia spent the night at a friend's house last night so I have to go pick her up so we'll be going slow and steady wins the race but I just wanted to take a chance to show you guys in case you're not from Illinois what a uh, ice slash rainstorm can look like here now it's not the best we have had a couple of years where the ice is incredibly dangerous, but it is so beautiful because it's thick and it's glossy and then the snow comes on top of it. That's not one of those days. Today is one of those days that you play the game called, hmm, is it ice? Is it rain? So in today's episode of is it ice or is it rain, you'll see on our driveway, it looks pretty wet. When I was walking on it, it was a little slick, but my car is obviously a little bit heavier. And then in front of us, we have the tire tracks. And so you see, is it ice or is it rain? We Illinoisans, we know how to play this game pretty well. But um, my father, when he moved down to Georgia, he said that the second that there was any kind of precipitation, people would close the streets, close the schools, the entire town would shut down just for anything. And it was just really interesting um, hearing about different parts of the country and how they react is what I'm talking about. I know you guys probably can't see it too well, but the ice freezes on the pine trees. And it's, like I said, it is dangerous, but gosh almighty, it is just gorgeous the way that it hangs and it glistens. And so, yeah. Okay. All right, as promised, part of today is going to be game review with the gremlins. We are going to review the some of the new games that they got for Christmas. The first game that Gremlin 1 has picked out is Battleship, which is a classic um, seek and destroy coordinate planes graphing uh, game. And so, like logic? no, this is this is not a logic game. This is a seek and destroy. So I'm trying to teach him how to use the top for my pieces and the bottom. We'll see how well he pays attention to the two. I have a very good feeling some of his uh, battleships may be off the board or off the grid. So we shall see who wins the first round of. Battleship. Not logic, Colton. This is a yeah. seek and destroy. It's not, like a coding. it's not coding. It's called coordinate planes. Mm. You have to find the points. You have to find the letters. And then you go find the letters and you find the numbers and you plot and destroy. Okay. All right. And now here we are teaching Colton some responsibility for the messes him and his sister make. He's uh, vacuuming out the car. Nah, I don't think so. Keep it going. Free child labor. Alright, now that we're done vacuuming out the car, I've got the floor mats out from the bottom here, and I got some uh, special WeatherTech floor mats for Christmas. These are much nicer to put at the bottom of the car and collect a lot of the, the dirt and the moisture better instead of having it ground into your carpet. Your carpet's not going to get stained, not going to get moldy. So this will make it a lot easier to clean out once we get these put in. And here's the installed product. I like the way they work. They fit in there pretty well. So this will help keep the car from getting so darn messy. Oh, Happy New Year <laughs> to our honorary third gremlin. Say hi, Chad. Hi. <laughs> Say Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Happy New Year. Okay, somebody tell me what's going on here. My ticket to ride is basically like um, a traveling game, sort of. Don't know what's based on. Where do you got to go? So um, I have to go to Atlanta, no, Georgia, to, to, to Pennsylvania, um, Pennsylvania, New York. New mm. York. Mommy, where do you got to go? I can't tell you that. That's my secret. Oh. 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 Where's Sophia house? going? Is she going to Disney World? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. So it's called Ticket to Ride. And we got it for Christmas. And today is all about playing new games and yep. trying to learn. So basically, when your turn starts, you can pick up a card that gives you a color to claim the track. Or 
you can play one of your cards where you try to lay the check. So yeah. whose turn is it? My yours? My turn? Yeah. Yeah, it's yours. Okay. So my turn, and I can show you what I'm doing over here. So this is the where I'm supposed. To, this is where I'm starting. I'm supposed to be getting between these two cities. Mm, and if you look at the map, it's pretty, pretty okay. easy. Well, good luck. So I'm going to play a green card, and then I lay my piece on it. But your color doesn't have to match the track. But the, if you want to play a card, you have to play the card and then lay it on that space. Okay. All right. So Pia's turn. Who's making a night? Um, I am making in my official New Year's Day pajamas all day outfit. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are fun. Um, I am making something that's called um, Big Mac Sloppy Joe's. So you sweat the onions, which I already did, and then you make your Sloppy Joe, which is obviously regular ground beef, and then I'm going to mix in um, pickles and then the secret sauce. It's just Thousand Island dressing. And then you make it like regular sloppy joes and you put it on the um, bun with sliced up lettuce or diced up lettuce and cheese. And it's a sloppy joe, but it's made as a Big Mac. So it's pretty good. Awesome. And I have to make two kinds of fries because we love French fries. Yes, we do. Yeah. She is making a Big Mac. All Big right, Mac so sloppy it's Joe. Big Mac Sloppy Joe. So it's the sautéed onions, the pickles, the sauce, and then the hamburger, and of course it's falling all over the place because it's... The sauce is underneath it already or it's in it? Mix it into it, yeah. Oh, oh I thought you put it on. No, you mix it in then it's mm. cold on hot meat. Okay. And then the tricky part is... It smells good. Sloppy Joe obviously falls apart, so... Mmm. Like all right, we're going to try some. Oh. While we finish our dinner and finish up our night, we're getting into the end of it. It's a Avengers Infinity War and our Marvel Challenge. Mm -hmm. so getting towards the end, and this is the end, really. All right, here it goes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We're done with Infinity War. Only one more left. End game. End game. Dun, dun. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And then remember, don't, don't feed, feed your gremlins. After what do we have? Uh, Big Mac Sloppy Joe. Yeah, so don't have Big Mac Sloppy Joes after midnight, hey. gremlins. <laughs>